A Surrey County farmer is concerned the Virginia Reliability Project will destroy his land and livelihood. This is the farm from Chopper 10. The project will replace nearly 50 miles of pipe dating back to the 1950s along the Columbia gas transmission line. Penny Your Side's Kiana Patterson investigates this farmer's fight. On Strawberry Lane at Drury Farms, you're met with blueberries. The longer they hang on the bush, the more <laughs> sugar content. And nature's beauty. Um, no matter how hard the day is, when I come back here, it just melts away. Michael Drury's family has been farming here for decades. This is where my father was raised. Over the years, Drury and his wife Amy had to get creative to keep this slice of heaven on earth. That's my religion is just the silence and peacefulness and and everything here. So they created an agritourism business. You can tug them a little bit. I enjoy this peacefulness and that's the reason people come here. They, they'll pay us to come here and uh, uh, everything from camping to staying in. We fixed up an old home on the farm that people can stay. Yet keeping the acres untouched has come with many challenges. Drury actually became an attorney to fight for his farm. Remarkably, since I purchased it in 1990, seriously, um, I've had to fight a road realignment on 31, uh, 460 realignment potentially coming through here, a railroad potentially coming through here, um, a coal plant being built about three or four miles away, um, this methane digester being proposed now. Up next, the Virginia Reliability Project. Now the, the pipeline coming through here, it's exhausting. The project will replace and expand about 50 miles of the Columbia gas transmission, a natural gas pipeline, and part of the pipeline runs right through his land in Wakefield. I would have to shut my agritourism business down when they come in here and start this construction. And I don't know when that is, the timing of it, uh, or how much income it's gonna lose me. To make matters more complicated, this land was protected by an open space easement with the Virginia Outdoors Foundation to preserve the streams, Milltail Creek. To protect this place, we gave up hundreds of thousands of dollars in development potential. And then you find that they can just come through, they're proposing is to come through and double widen the, the um, pipeline. The Virginia Outdoors Foundation sending these letters to state and federal leaders expressing concerns about the project's impacts to property. Senator Tim Kaine believes all pipeline projects must follow a permitting process. I am a strong believer that before you take somebody's land for a pipeline, there needs to be a very significant showing that A, the pipeline is necessary. A spokesperson for the pipeline project tells 10 on your side it will, quote, ensure continued reliable and abundant natural gas supply for the Hampton Roads region. The statement adds, we have been working with landowners and others to mitigate and offset any potential impacts that are part of the replacement project. Drury says there has been little communication on the project with him. The thing that's discouraging to me is they don't do, they don't come and ask. His hope, this project is abandoned or. For them to listen and be accommodating. For me and other people. In Wakefield, Kiana Patterson, Tunnel Your Side.